So I really love how I've decided how I repetitively, actively decide to, uh, to just take shit head on. You know, um, I just took Lucky for a walk, yay, um, although was completely tired and winded by the time we came back, um, and I know he wants to go out more, but, you know, I haven't been doing very well this month, physiologically. Um, doing the best I can, sweetheart. So we get back and, you know, I'm putting his toys in the toy box and stuff by the door. And, um, I remember even the flash of panicked anxiety I had yesterday, the other day, whenever it is. Brain damage apparently for me impacts in a manner of time dilation. You know, um, good with distance, no, good, good with, well, no, doesn't matter what I'm good at. I've never been great at time, but, oh, wow. Um, anyway, pull on the brain damage card, man. The card I am using for the rest of my life, because I earned that bitch. <laughs> anyway. The afternoon of the very unhappy woman that lives on my floor um, got up in my business yet again, continuing to harass me yet again about, yeah, you know what, technically somewhere written down. I am willing to give her the benefit of the doubt that it says that dogs must be collared on leash when in the hallway. Because, you know, at that point, she's really going to have to get that specific. Okay, let's just give her the benefit of the doubt that that degree of specificity is actually in some HOA guide somewhere that I really haven't read and I'm not going to. Um, well, first off, look around. How many people in the building, including board members, are actually following those rules? Just saying. You know, power, power only, power the fallacy of power only exists to the degree of desire of enforcing it, coupled with the ability to enforce it. Which is what I was thinking about as I'm just, you know, sitting here, because my mind's always going, you know, and I'm like, there really is not a goddamn thing. Anybody can do to me. Especially anything that would be worse than what I can do to myself. Because trust me, my first line of defense and offense for me and you is my conscience. You know, I got a pretty solid one of those two. And just in case, my better half always has my kill switch, my safe words, holds my leash, my what am I my better half? You know, in 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 the world's better hope, nothing ever happens to him. Because Because I'm already...
I'm already doing the absolute best I can to be the absolute best person I can. <laughs> so anyway, let's give her the benefit of the doubt that maybe she is that correct, accurate. Let's just go with accurate. Give her the insane benefit of the doubt of degree of accuracy. Sure, why not? Anyway, it has already escalated to the point of police between her and I with my demands that her, see, her harassment cease. She is the only person that seems to give a fuck about Apparently, my what she views as my inadequacy while I'm doing the goddamn best I can. And some really fucked up dynamics. And you think you have a right to add to that? Yes, my love, I need to smoke more. point is, there's not a goddamn thing anybody can do to impact influence on me. And, uh, which means whatever power you think you have, think again. <laughs> Look at the International Criminal Courts. The only power that exists is what can be enforced. And then you just kind of get deeper into, well, my wheelhouse of influence. See, you really have nowhere to go, but... <laughs> Fortunately... I have faith equal to and many days surpassing my drive and my capabilities. I'm doing the best I can. Just don't fuck up. Actually, that, that is the absolute bare human existence minimum that makes sense. Just don't fuck up. Not when it counts. You know, okay, yeah, we're human. Shit happens. Blah, blah, blah. Just don't fuck up. Not when it counts. And you never really know when it counts. So don't fuck up. You know? And the fuck up part would be... Do your best. You know, I... I have lived a very challenging, sensational life. Overcoming adversity at the most ridiculous of odds. And I stand on the fact that I'm standing... I'm empowered by the fact that I can teach others how to do what I've done. And I sleep at night knowing that I have done everything I could do. That, that, who, whoever is without sin, cast the first stone. Because if you end up in my diary, you've done more than cast a stone. Hi. Or should I say, bye. But this is all about contrition.
you know, I really don't give a fuck about money. I actually really hate money. Money gives me massive major anxiety. I mean, it's, it's just, I can't even stand to talk about. I mean, and I had issues with, I have been homeless. I have been hungry. I have seen, tasted, smelled, and felt money. And I hate it. I hate money. I hate it. But influence. Now you're thinking with, you know, now you're thinking special. Influence. Wow. That almost sounds like, honestly, like a lot of things. And that's what I was thinking about this morning when I was laying here. I mean, I know technically somewhere in some manual, somebody has said that psychological operations are illegal on the U.S. soil. And I even remember the big deal about, like, I think it was Iraq and, and, and somebody had said, hey, you know, do, do a, basically gather some information about the incoming officer that, so I know his thoughts, his feelings, and his opinions. If you want the truth, that's really what it was. But they decided to go for catchphrase, keywords, hot buttons of, hey, he said to sigh up that girl. And they hung his ass out to dry. You know, we happenstance across an officer that knows enough about his job to do it and we hang him out to dry and fry him for it fuck you because you know what psyop is not illegal on u.s soil because whoever y'all are y'all been doing it Let's start real simple, and this is what I was thinking about as I was laying here in the in in, in the gro uh, I was as I was laying here because I need to go grocery shopping. I do. I've needed to go grocery shopping for a week, but I'm having anxiety challenges. I'll get there when when the cost benefit forces me to face. Anyway, so I was laying here thinking about grocery shopping, you know, and. I'm kind of known for the fact that I will just sit down in the grocery store floor aisle and and start, you know, whatever. Because, back to PSYOP, because we're making this really personal, right? Are you aware of the fact that the more expensive brand name products are shelved at eye level so that you are more likely to purchase them because they... They believe that you are so lazy, you're going to fail to even bother to look down below eye level to see that something's cheaper. Brand names bargain on the fact that An officer ex of mine and I were discussing Starbucks. I don't drink coffee, one, and I way love green beans. But I think it's the milk in the Middle East. I'm not sure, but love it. Anyway. Um, but we were discussing McGlobalism, you know, when Starbucks was a big thing for him. And he never got my point but it was it was a mutual it was an interestingly destructive dynamic of mutual growth I hope I grew you know um globalization is the term for basically the exact reason the Middle East's war of ideologies persists that term is globalization it is the fear of the 
cultural infection of Western homogenization, thereby equating cultural death, which for many many enough, at least enough, view this to be a valid threat and the concern to be that their their right to be and live as they have always known to be and live is worse than death. And honestly, I'd agree. I'd agree. I agree so much. Let me cut the lights up on this. I agree so much that loss of everything you have known and know to be is a fate worse than death. Notice that's the recap of what I just said about all the, the ideological wars stemming from the Middle East. And I up the ante by using the very close to home example that that exact reason that veterans coming home with opened eyes to the import and value of human life, of the beauty and assurance of trust and faith. We come back from war knowing these things so profoundly that we are disgusted by the reality of our culture having been ripped away by realization that it was all a house of cards. Wow. Wake up and smell the blood, America. Because America's ignorance is bliss, mediocrity is more deadly to American veterans than war is to American service members. Just ask a traumatized vet. I'm a shut-in, rightfully, thankfully, pridely so, pride, pr proudly so. I mean, I don't, I don't even know what's going on in the election. I don't even fucking want to know. You know? And I am absolutely certain you don't even need to bother a vet. Just turn on the TV and look at the election. Because I may not know who's running, but I know people. And if you actually believe that the American people are not being psyoped every moment of every day, then I ask you a very simple question. If money was no object, you know, if there was not an economic noose around your neck, what would you do with your life to be happy? What, what would make you happy? What contribution would you offer to humanity that would make you happy? If it's an easy question, then you know why this is important. And if it's a hard question, as what makes you happy seems to have, in my experience, been a difficult for many people, at least in the D.C. tri-state area, capital of the United States, the 
I would argue, the powerhouse of the world, but it undoubtedly the powerhouse of the, of the country, of the nation. And we and the majority of the people honestly can't even answer the question, what makes you happy? How the fuck can they represent us? Whoa, 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 whoa. Time to go back to the drawing board. Because when uh, America was um, allowed the fantasy of democracy under a republic, it was because it was the best option at the time. America's changed a lot since then. And ironic thing is, our values have gone backwards. Our ability has gone forward while our values have gone backward. For validation, all I would, would ask of you is to um, Google any of the Founding Fathers. You know, take your pick, read a bit, you know, whatever. Just do a little bit of homework on America's Founding Fathers. On the, on the founding articles, on, you know, whatever. Just think. And then look at how much of that is present in your daily life. Better question yet. How much more of it could be presented? in our daily lives how much happier and how much more peaceful and how much more productive would we all be because of it and wow honestly I'm having a brain damage moment trying to carry it off and pretend like everything's fine but I just entirely forgot the entire conversation Welcome to brain damage and a partial lobotomy and, and blah, blah, blah. Doing the best I can, folks. Um, I mean, I have all this stuff in my head, and I'm, 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 I'm able to put it together multidimensionally in, in this fantastic way, but, but I'm getting better at following a thought through. It's about that time. I gotta end it. I don't even remember what the fucking point was, so I hope I made it.